Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Kristen's Crosses. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this episode and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our About page on our channel to learn about other ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. Today's Gospel reading is from Matthew chapter 13, verses 54 through 58. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection Today's Gospel passage holds a profound lesson for each of us as Christians how we too can unintentionally hold each other back from being Christ-like. Just as the people of Nazareth struggle to recognize the fullness of Christ's divine presence, we may unknowingly hinder the growth of Christ's presence in another person. One way that we may hinder each other is by allowing familiarity to breed contempt. The people of Nazareth knew Jesus as a carpenter's son, and their familiarity with him led to a lack of faith in his divine authority. Similarly, when we reduce our fellow Christians to mere labels or stereotypes, we limit our own ability to see the presence of Christ in them. We must be open to the transformative power of Christ within each other, not blinded by preconceived notions. Furthermore, we can unintentionally hold each other back by not allowing for growth and change. Just as the people of Nazareth found it difficult to accept Jesus as anything other than a carpenter that they knew, we may resist accepting the transformative power of Christ in our fellow Christians and our neighbors or our friends. We must allow for growth and understanding that God's grace is constantly working in the lives of everyone, leading each of us to follow his example. Instead, let's counteract these tendencies that tend to hold others back from being the very best versions of themselves. Let's cultivate humility and a genuine desire for mutual growth, and let us humbly acknowledge that none of us has reached perfection. We all stand in need of God's grace. Let's work to foster an environment of acceptance, understanding, and love where Christ's transformative power can flourish in each one of us. And so today, let's pray that we may lift one another up, supporting each other on our journey to becoming more Christ-like and embrace the transformative power of Christ's love. 